So menopause strictly means 12 months without menstrual bleeding, which means 12 months without ovulation, and it really signals the end of reproductive life. But the hormonal changes can actually start 10 years before then. So to focus on the end of reproductive life doesn't really do justice to the changes that are happening to women during this transition, which impact bone health, reproductive health, urogenital health, continence for example, as well as metabolic and cognitive health. So hormones influence all of those domains. So the average age of menopause in Australia is about 53. And premature menopause, which is usually due to autoimmune or genetic problems, that's defined as under 45 years of age. So anywhere from 46 to 59 is where women start having their menopause. But the symptoms will start for some women in their 30s and 40s. And for many women, they'll go on into the 60s. The most significant symptoms that affect women and impact their daily living are what are called the vasomotor symptoms. The hot flashes, the hot flushes, the sweats. And for some women, these can occur every five, 10 minutes or more. And they can be relentless. So five to 10% of women will still be experiencing hot flashes at night for 10 years or more, and they just do not stop. So for these women, it's a very significant impact. Generally, we know women who are fitter and leaner have different experiences of menopause. And that's just because the hormones change the metabolic rate, specifically that, that efficiency in fat burning is the key thing that starts to reduce. And so women very easily, without making any change in lifestyle, can put on weight that they've never had before. And unfortunately, it tends to be that central abdominal fat, which is what predicts heart disease and stroke. So we know that if you can prevent that central weight gain at menopause, you end up with better cardiovascular health later. There are treatments for this. And the first thing to talk about is hormone replacement therapy. And this is an ideal option for women who are before the age of 60. The latest data on hormone replacement therapy safety is that for most women, it's completely safe up until the age of 60. After the age of 60, there needs to be a one-to-one -one individualization of what is that woman's risk of stroke and heart attack versus the benefits of continuing hormone replacement therapy. With the current information that's available, there is so much hope that the menopause does not have to be the experience that one's mother or grandmother had. I say to all women who have consulted a doctor and feel that they haven't been heard, see a different doctor. There are different perspectives that each doctor brings to their clinical practice. Maybe they don't know, maybe they're not interested, maybe they're just not the right person for you at this time of your life. Find somebody who will champion what you need.